Okay, so I've been doing Battle Tower, uh, trying to get the ribbon, which you get for defeating 56 trainers in a row. I'm about to do battle number 56. This is my fourth attempt. First attempt I got to 43, uh, 41 wins. Second attempt I got to 43 wins. My third attempt I got to 55 wins. I lost in against the, the last Pokemon of the last trainer. Uh, in this run, a couple of battles ago, someone had a Latios. Um, but we're here, we're at number 56. So hopefully this time I can get the ribbon. Okay, triathlete Toby with a gramble. So we both have Intimidate. Okay, this has Double Edge, Earthquake, Sludge Bomb, and Rock Slide. Um, which means it should be pretty safe to set up with Snorlax. There's a lot of damage, but it will get less as I use Curse. Although actually I'm not sure if I live the next one even with the defense boost. That's doing more than I thought it would. And this is with the Intimidate attack drop as well from Salamence. Damn. So rat plus one, if we live we have to go for rest, which means we then have to take another two hits, which means we would have to rest again immediately. Double edge has 15 PP, so that would be very difficult to stall out and I'd be dead to a crit. I don't think I can set up, which means we just took a lot of damage for no reason. That sucks. I think I'm going to swap between Salamence and Metagross. This Granville knows Double Edge, Earthquake, Sludge Bomb, and Rock Slide. And between Salamence and Metagross, it shouldn't be doing too much damage, and I can keep getting Intimidate attack drops. The Gramble's at minus two attack now. Still does a lot of damage. I probably outspeed, and I also probably kill. So rather than keep swapping and taking surprising amounts of damage in order to lower its attack so that Snorlax can set up, I 
think I need to just kill this thing. Damn. It will die to recall, but we're almost dead now with two of our Pokemon. And that's only the first. Shit. Ursa Ring. Okay, fuck that sound. Okay, this has... Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and Crunch. So this would be the perfect thing to set up on with Snorlax. But I don't think we can take two hits. So I wouldn't be able to swap in. I would need to let Salamence go down. Because this will hit Salamence hard with Ice Punch and it would hit Metagross hard with Fire Punch. I probably outspeed so I can get one attack off. I'm gonna go for a Flamethrower because that might get the burn which will reduce attack and do damage over time and then Salamence will go down and I'm going to try setting up with Snorlax again okay we didn't get the burn First thing is, we need to immediately rest. Okay, yeah, that is not doing a lot of damage, which is good. Now yeah, we don't have the annoying low health sound anymore. This is the first turn of sleep. Yeah, this, this should be a really good setup now. Second turn of sleep. And Crunch can drop special defense. So there is a risk that that will start happening. Okay. Okay, we've used two PP, but that's because we used one against the, the Gramble. So I need to go down to three instead of four. Okay, this is done two. I got the special defense drop. I don't know if dark type is physical or special in this gem. Actually, Crunch is a physical move in later gems, but here it's based on the type. So we're at plus three which will be enough to kill this thing. We don't know what's left, but we do still have Metagross. If we get another special defense drop, that would be quite bad.
but there's so many things that could be sent out. I'm going to keep setting up. Oh, because of the special defense drop, it's going for other moves now. Which means it won't get another special defense drop. So I think we're good to carry on. That's doing like 40, so we're still safe to a crit. I think that has a chance to freeze though. So I'm gonna rest early to make sure if we get frozen, we're still um, in a safe health range. Okay, so I've used six curses, but one was in a previous fight, so we're at plus five, so we want to use one more. This is the first turn of rest. Oh, we got a second special defense drop. That, that sucks. I'm not going to go for plus six now, I'm just going to kill this thing. First turn of sleep. This is the second turn of sleep. Yeah, it's starting to hit quite hard now with the special defense drops. Okay, so one more hit and then we're going to kill it. Okay, no more drops, which is good. So we're at plus five attack, plus five defense, minus five speed, and minus two special defense. So last Pokemon, I still have Metagross in the back. Mr. Mime, which is a special attacker, so those special defense drops do kind of suck. But it's really weak physically. So one one hit will definitely kill it. Um, Ghost is physical. Oh, it's just swapping items. I think we win. Oh, we have a choice band now, so we're locked in to Shadow Ball, but I think this just kills it and we win. Yes. Okay, dodgy start, but we got it. Okay, I think I think that's it. I think we got the ribbon. Yes, here's some ribbons for beating seven tough trainers in a row. Sick. So I will keep going with this streak, just because I might as well, because if you get to 70, you get the gold symbol. But the main reason was to get the ribbons. We're at 56. So we now have, yes. So this has one ribbon for the max EVs, and now a ribbon for the battle tower. This has the same two. This has, uh, Battle Tower, Max EVs, and Shadow Purification. This is the one that I'm trying to get every ribbon on. Uh, which is why it's called Ribbons. Sweet!